Welcome back to our Drug Interaction Reinhardt's Rundown series. Today we are continuing our discussion on drug-food interactions. One of the most common drug-food interactions is due to our old friend, grapefruit juice. First things first, do you know how many people love grapefruit juice? A lot! As a student, I remember being really naive about this whole grapefruit juice drug interaction issue, but let me tell you, people love their grapefruit juice, and this is definitely something, as a clinician, you'll want to have an awareness of. Now, when medications enter the body, they often get metabolized by enzymes. This is done so that the drug is broken down and can be eliminated from the body. One of the biggest enzyme systems in the body is the cytochrome P450 system, also nicknamed the CYP enzyme system. There are over 50 different CYP enzymes, but the biggest, most baddest workhorse enzyme of all of them is CYP3A4. CYP3A4 metabolizes over 30% of all the medications going through the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. We'll use an example of a statin drug for cholesterol, which we might recognize as atorvastatin, simvastatin, lovastatin, and others. Simvastatin, or statin drugs, are often metabolized through CYP3A4. We'll call that statin a substrate. Now, anything that interferes with CYP3A4's ability to metabolize the substrate has the potential for a drug interaction. Grapefruit juice, little innocent delicious grapefruit, is actually an enzyme inhibitor, meaning that after consuming grapefruit, CYP3A4 is inhibited. It can't do its job of metabolizing the statin cholesterol drug, and the statin just sits around in the bloodstream. If it just sits around in the bloodstream, it doesn't get broken down and eliminated, and the level of the drug in the blood increases. If the statin level in the blood increases too much, we have side effects and sometimes even full-blown toxicities can occur. Now we use statins as an example, but remember up to 30% of medications are metabolized by CYP3A4, like pain medications, antidepressants, immunosuppressants, anticoagulants, and even antiarrhythmics. So in summary, grapefruit juice, as well as some of the other citrus juices, can inhibit our enzymes' ability to actually break down medications and can result in five times as much drug in the bloodstream sometimes, resulting in also possible toxicities. Soon we'll talk more about inhibitors and then inducers. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.